Melissa, aka Honey Bee Missy, and this is my beauty room. Into the room right above the door, it is a sign that says this is my happy place, and I love it because this is this room is definitely my happy place. First thing you'll notice when you come into the room, when you turn to the side, is a certificate, and my husband bought and named a star for the two of us and for me on our one year anniversary of being together, which was really nice. First thing you see when you come in is this shelf right here. It has the crown I wore on my wedding day. It has the flowers from my bridal shower and a picture frame that I need to print out a photo and place here. A lovely candle I got, I believe, for my bridal shower. And underneath that is all of my Basically my body sprays from Victoria's Secret, um, Paris Hilton, Bath and Body Works. Just the bottom is all of my lotions that I really enjoy. I have the Hollister Wave 2, my Nicki Minaj Pink Friday, Victoria's Secret, I believe this is the Bombshell Summer, my Fresh Right here, Fresh Couture, which I wore quite a bit when Joe and I first started dating. Is my desk area that my husband painted white for me. It was originally black and dark brown. So, right here I have some items for my wedding decorations. Um, my Minnie Mouse ears and a theme of the, like a bride wedding mouse ears because we went shortly after we got married that are really sparkly and glittery. Um, two of my favorite perfumes, my Tommy Girl perfume and my Guess perfume and Mickey ears when we went as a family to Disneyland and this castle that Joe bought me. Um, I believe it was on our honeymoon, we went to Las Vegas and he bought me this. Underneath are my conspiracy. Next are some of my other favorites. My Pretty from Elizabeth Arden, Coach, Jessica Simpson. Um, in here, I have a, it's like a lanyard pin. That one, my, my co-worker. Yvonne gave me, which I love. It is um, Care Bears. I don't know why it's not focusing. And my bride pin um, from my bridal shower party and all that bride. This is a little teddy Joe gave me for Valentine's Anastasia Beverly Hills um, set that my sister gave me for my birthday, I believe. A uh, photo of Joe when we went on a trip to the mountains. My favorite candle, hot cocoa and cream. It smells like hot chocolate. Here are some more body sprays and a lot of my mini with the cool and bright scent. It's very fresh and nice. Um, so yeah, those are those. This right here, just I keep on hand close by to spray the house in my room from Pier 1. And this very nice neon purse that is super bright and vivid. Um, underneath here, my father-in-law gave me this keepsake box for Christmas. And inside I have um, some earrings, mostly earrings that I love. I love purple. So these are like starfish purple shell earrings, some pineapple earrings. And so next I have my gaming station and editing station. Um, underneath 
over here in this corner I just have like a photo album I need to fill up um, print some photos and a canvas a empty canvas I haven't I don't know what I'm gonna paint on there and then this um, So right here I have this beautiful sleek modern clock that I just absolutely adore. I think it's it's quite fitting for this room. It's not too busy, but really nice. And underneath there I have quite a bit of my perfumes. Not all, but um, just some that I enjoy and I grab quite often. Um, I usually wear perfumes based off the season, so I, yeah, let me just go through them really quickly. Um, obviously, we have the Burberry perfumes right here. My husband loves this one. Whenever I wear this one, he loves this one. My mom loves this fragrance right here. This is the Rihanna. This is um, Boss, I believe. Hugo Boss. Oh my gosh, I love this one. I have two and they're both empty. But I just love the packaging. So sleek and pink. This smells very fruity and musky. It dries like a musk, but it starts, it opens with a nice fruity smell. And everyone, whenever I have this on, especially in the summer, people are like, what are you wearing? You smell so amazing. I have this Marc Jacobs perfume right here that I wore for my honeymoon, throughout my honeymoon. This is what I had on. Um, you can't go wrong with this fruity sweet smell from Paris Hilton to just throw on and go. Um, this one is the Kate Spade Truly Gracious. I have this centerpiece right here that was for my bridal shower. My mom and sister and cousins and everyone helped make my um, a lot of my centerpieces. This one right here and this one right here which are so beautiful. And then I have this, this is a really nice um, winter scent right here. And then I have the quote from my wedding, the love is patience quote printed out right here. And this I got in Sacramento. Um, my husband bought it a wedding cake that says love. You can see, it's super cute. Okay, underneath I have um, Victoria's Secrets bag to add some splash of color. In here are a lot of my sunglasses. And until I get like a sunglass organizer, I have them in here. Um, I got this for Christmas or just before Christmas for my birthday. It is a ring, diamond ring picture frame. It has been on our wedding day. And a lot of other perfumes. I have a lot of Mariah Carey perfumes. Obsessed with Mariah Carey. This one's empty. It's the Honey Mariah Carey, which I've been wanting to repurchase. And I hopefully will be repurchasing that soon. I have Jimmy Choo Blossom. I have the Juicy Couture, which smells so sweet and like candy. It smells amazing. It's really good for the fall seasons. Um, underneath here I have the Escada perfumes. I have a few others, but these are my favorites. I lost the tops to those. Um, I have a lot of my wires for my computer or transferring files and SD cards all in there. This lovely candle holder, which is so sparkly and pretty. My Mariah Carey pop. Which is super cute. We got this on the way home from Las Vegas. Yeah. This was a gift from my cousin in law Nena for Christmas. It was part of the um, mystery box. Mystery. And this is a cup right here. That's just super cute. I've only used it a few times. Um, but yeah. Love that. Um, in here, just some books that I have that 
made it on the way from the journey from moving from my parents' house to this house. I have boxes of books and these were kind of like um, more recent books. This is a journal from Disneyland, A Little Mermaid. I, I just love this collection. It looks like a VHS. I love it. Love The Little Mermaid. Um, the Story of My Life, which is like a journal. And this is my sister-in-law's book really cool and right here is a planner dear John uh, inspirational book the weight finding God's life from 10th Avenue North's lead singer Mike Donahue um, this was a Christmas gift and I've only read a little bit I need to um, really get through this entire book my Bible my first Bible, a planner agenda book right here. It's the Ray Dunn series. I have quite a bit of Ray Dunn items. This is a photo album collection right here that was given to me from my mom, I believe, for Christmas. And it's the honeymoon memories, the wedding day photos, and the bridal shower, which is perfect. To really display it. Oh my gosh, all my books are falling. Super cute. This is pretty much Joe. How he looks and how he dresses. <laughs> and me holding gifts. And a cute umbrella. So, so far you've seen this wall right here. Should I focus it? And up to here. So now we have all of this to go through. So right when you come to my lovely and favorite part of the room is my vanity. There's a little light switch right here. And a outlet to plug in um, your your, to charge your phone or sometimes I use it to do my hair with the straightener so right here I have a vanity light as well like a close-up I have some recent I just received these brushes they're super pretty and they're in a cup that my sister bought me and gifted me Aladdin, so I have it displayed right there. This is um, a lot of my makeup that's organized. So there's the glitters. These are the minis. They have full-size palettes that I will love to try. Some brushes, some of my favorite lipsticks and lip liquid lipsticks, um, foundation, another perfume which is empty. This is again one of my favorites. My Per Barbie Iconic Lips which I haven't worn and I'll show you why I haven't worn it yet. I mean look at the packaging it's so beautiful. says per Barbie and and here's the lipstick it's so sparkly so I don't know I might wear it right now it's kind of just a novelty item that was again gifted to me for Christmas it's just, it's so pretty. The packaging is just amazing. And then in here I have like blushes, highlighters, some liquid lipsticks, some eyeshadow palettes and highlighters right in here. Some more palettes and some more liquid lipsticks. 
and a Tarte bronzer. Okay, so right here I have like my current products that I'm using. I don't know if it's focusing. Okay. Um, this is the Donna Karen Cashmere perfume. And I've been wearing it recently, and my husband just absolutely loves how it smells. I love how it smells. It's um, a favorite. Um, this is the Victoria's Secret Coconut Milk and Rose Calm 24-Hour Moisture. Um, it smells really calming for at, like at night, right before I go to sleep. I put this on, and it just lingers. It smells very sweet and calming. This is the Melon Sherbert, the Bright Palm, Victoria's Secrets, with the body spray. This one is super sweet. Coconut milk and apricot bloom. And the apricot is what is just the star of this fragrance. It just smells so amazing, but it smells, it's like not too sweet and not too heavy. So it's just a really great scent. This one is a bit stronger. It's the Victoria's Secret Love. I've had this for quite a while. And it's the mini version. But the packaging is super cute. And the the fragrance is really nice for like... I would say it's a nighttime smell. If you're going out for dinner. Right here I have... The Glow Dewy Mist from ELF. With coconut and argan oil. This stuff is very hydrating as you can see I've used quite I'm almost more than halfway through like I'm almost done with this bottle and this stuff just leaves your skin looking really dewy okay so right here I have some pink brushes they're super soft and pretty and I have these beautiful brushes right here with how pretty is that? Those were my Easter gifts. So beautiful. My sister gave me those. Love them. So I just have them like right in here mixed in with my pink brushes. And we'll continue. Um, I got the pink brushes from Amazon, just if you're interested. This um, Joe bought me at Charming Charlie's. Okay, so right here is where I have my brushes, and these are items I have, like I use every day. Um, this foundation is amazing. I'm obsessed with it. I'll be doing a foundation review and wear test. It is the Dewy Wet n Wild foundation. Absolutely amazing. Or is it? And in here I have a lot of like just random papers and whatnot. This one is my makeup drawer basically and just items I grab every day so right here I have like my concealers and foundations from the Juvia's place and like my primers my lip glosses a lot of like the Tubi lip glosses this one is most like the one new newest ones I have the Juicy Melon. Thank you, Michelle, for this one. It smells really amazing. I have my Vanilla Coke um, Smackers, Lip Smackers. I love Vanilla Coke, so that's been great. Today, I'm wearing my Georgiana... I feel like it's not focusing. My Georgiana Gloss right here. Over here I have a lot of my favorite lipsticks. My Lancome, no my Lorac lipsticks. My CoverGirl and Maybelline Wet n Wild. 
over here I have um, a lot of like my skincare that I use, my setting sprays, my primers, my moisturizers, my lip scrub, blushes, extra blushes, some more blushes and highlights that are like loose powder highlights. A note that Joe gave me um, a while back. My setting powder, a fan in case it gets hot, <laughs> and yeah, just pretty much what I use almost every day. And here are some Victoria's Secret bags to add some color to the room and also great for storage. Right here on this wall, let me stand up. Um, I haven't added anything to the top shelf because I can't reach up there. My husband put my um, Greatest Wife Award up there. Um, and then right here, it is just a couple like perfumes that are mini that were small enough to fit in the shelf. My Wedding Favors and that is Eleven from Stranger Things and some lotions, some Beauty and the Beast items, Disney items, some more perfumes, a bell, it's kind of a Christmas thing that I received, and another wedding favor right here is my calendar. But with quarantine and everything, it's not really filled up, but I would typically have like my schedule written out right here. So, right here I have my bridal bride-to-be stash, sash, right here, my bride-to-be. I wore this um, for my bridal shower and when we did our wedding practice. Here I have a photo of my grandpa Paul and some magnets, some photos of um, at the beach years back with my friend Jessica and my sister in LA. Photo strip, my cousin Violet, my sister, myself, and Violet's favorite panda was the strip, the theme of it when we went to the mall. Some in sync magnets. A note from our first Valentine's with my husband. He surprised me at work and gave me this note. And some chocolate strawberries. Um, this is what the note came with. Some chocolate strawberries. And some movie things that just kind of I found around. I was like, you know what, I'll just put them up right here. Some more. Um, photo strips. We went to the movies, we went to the zoo, to the mall, and this was his work banquet. Right here is my Disney lanyard with some pins. I do have another one. I don't know where it's at right at the moment, which has a lot of other pins, but these were more like, like, Right after we got married, we went to Disneyland, so, yeah. And my sister recently gave me this, it's super cute, so I thought I'd hang it on there. It is Pooh and Tigger. And right here is my cart, makeup cart. And there's quite a bit of palettes in here. I have my Morphe, J Morphe James Charles palette. Which I recently got. I have some my Opulence BH Cosmetics palettes and my Digital Future palette. Both of these I haven't tried yet. I'll be doing a first impressions. I have the mini conspiracy, I mean controversy, um, Shane Doss and Jeffree Star palette. Um, my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. I believe this one is. It doesn't say the name, but I believe it was Sound the Alarm, and it's a lot of nice neutral colors.
on nice creamy metallics and obviously it's really used because I use this to travel with quite a bit. It's always in my makeup bag on the go. Right here I have my Truly Madly Deeply palette which I have been using quite often. Just a really easy on the go palette. My Conspiracy palette which I honestly don't use that much at all because of the story um, basically the color story just isn't that great. It's just kind of cool to have, but um, I don't really use this at, at all. So My Morphe palettes. Um, these are beautiful. I love these. I have two mini Morphe palettes I haven't used yet. I just kind of swatched. And down here... Hey everyone, here's how you can win this palette. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and comment on the photo of this makeup palette right here, and answer this question. So the question is, what is your all-time favorite makeup palette? Okay, so my battery died on my camera, so I'm charging some lippies, some more lip products over there, some um, palettes, I have bronzers, I have blushes, this one is a favorite from BH, this one is a favorite from <laughs> BH as well, it's the Desert Oasis, um, this is the Clara Cosmetics, and oh my gosh, it's amazing. I have Wet n Wild, I have La Rock, I have Juvia's Palace, I mean, Juvia, I always say Juvia's Palace, Juvia's Place, it's beautiful, um, NYX, Precision Formula. Right here I have a lot of my foundations and over here a lot of like um, minis and some moisturizers. So I don't know if I want to go through everything with this camera but maybe I might. So I think the color is a little different than my camera. Kind of see how vivid everything is. So right here I have this beautiful, one of my favorite makeup bags, um, it has, what does it have? I think it has a lot of my, yeah, a lot of nail polishes, and right here the same. My husband's brother's girlfriend gave me this for Christmas, the year we met. Um, and some more polishes. I got th these for, I believe, for my birthday last year. And I've only used the blue one. I haven't used the purple ones or any of these. Okay, so I just went through all of these items and my different containers for my polishes, which I love. And my huge makeup box of lip products. Now over here I have this lamp. But it is actually a party lamp. Because sometimes you just want to dance to music. And you turn on your party lamp. And everything's okay. I have the honey lotion from... Victoria's Secrets. I have a picture of when we went to Disneyland for Michelle's birthday um, during October, which was so fun. Right here are some palettes. This is the Tarte Dream Big palette. My Heart Revolution, which is purple and beautiful. My Per Barbie 
palette that is just the the detailing that they put into these palettes are so amazing. Another hip dots palette. This really creamy purple and this beautiful like brick red matte. And my modern Renaissance An Anastasia palette that is just velvet and nice. Right here I have um, some Victoria's Secret shimmer perfumes. My Love Spell shimmer which I've used a little quite a bit. My Paris Hilton Rose Rush. This smells like roses and the packaging looks so glamorous and beautiful. Ballerina statue. Another sign that says I love you to the moon and back. My husband gave me this while we were um, doing our registries at Bath, no, Bed Bath & Beyond. This diamond I got in Las Vegas um, years and years. My bridesmaids and I during my bridal shower. And how cute is that? Um, a record player that is like a blush pink color. Um, some, some of my favorite perfumes, this one right here, let me see if you'll focus, um, is the J-Lo, J-Love perfume. The bottle has cheetah, and you know I love cheetah, so anything cheetah related, I love it, but this smells very... Um, beautiful, fruity, and a little bit of floral. It's just a non-offensive perfume. If you wear this, everyone's going to like it, and it's not too strong or heavy. My Honey from Marc Jacobs. This is so incredible. Anytime I wear this, people are like, what are you wearing? <laughs> you smell so pretty. So, my one of my favorites. My Fresh Couture Machino. Um, I got this for my birthday in December 2016 and I wore it all through 2017 and that's the year that Joe and I met so this perfume definitely um, anytime I spray it I just remember like our first dates, us hanging out, us getting to know each other and my Mariah Carey perfume which is empty I just love the bottle I have a few of these perfumes I have a larger version a tiny one this one um, you can't really ever go wrong with Mariah Carey perfumes she comes out with a perfume you know it's gonna smell incredible JLo this is an oldie but goodie this reminds me of like 2004 and it had like a cute top with a little um, design bracelet but obviously during the move I lost a lot of different items so they're around here somewhere and my um ooh, my glow by JLo I mean come on everybody's wore this perfume this one just smells so musky and beautiful I have like probably six bottles of this one like during the holidays is when you could get a really good deal on this perfume and you can't go wrong with buying me this particular perfume you know I'm gonna love it I love having backups because I go through them so quickly okay next we have this cube storage that I got for my wedding from my cousin Gina Gina Daniels. She gave me this gorgeous cube, the Daniels. And I love it. I've had it at different areas of this room. I've had it like standing up against this wall right here. And then I decided to have it like this to display a lot of my different items that I have. My backpack that Joe bought me for 
I'm always forgetting because Christmas and my birthday are so close to each other within days. I believe it was my birthday last, you know, my last birthday, 2019. And anytime I wear that backpack, everyone's like, okay, so I'm going to continue. My battery keeps dying, but I realized I haven't really shown myself in the video, so I will be showing myself a little bit more. In this cube, a lot of my more purpley colors, which I don't think in this lighting it's giving it justice, but it's definitely a lot more purpley bottles that I just absolutely love. Next, I have just a candle holder that's really sparkly and nice. I, um, I believe this was part of my wedding decorations as well. A um, cup. This is Chip from Beauty and the Beast. I usually drink coffee out of it, but I was like, you know, I really want to display it in my room since a lot of my mugs are in a are put away. So these are all of my favorite pins. So this pin I got in Sacramento. This is from Las Vegas. This is from going to the zoo. Um, okay, next I have right here um, my congrats candle. I believe my cousin Valerie gave me for a bridal shower gift. Um, I've had this for a while. This was from my mom. It is a really cute um, Cinderella watch. In here are some more palettes. Revolution. Makeup Revolution. Um, you can get this at Ulta. I have the Neon Huda Beauty in orange. Okay, the last row is my Betsy John. And that shoe, it's a phone holder. This is a box of different items from like the wedding and keepsakes, basically, from Ikea. And this pineapple thing is one of like when I was going more of the sleek modern um, white grays and a little bit of black. And I bought that to kind of um, be part of my aesthetic. But now, this beauty room is definitely not modern, sleek, or minimalist at all. So I just keep it there as something cute to have. And the rest of my house is more cozy, country chic. So that doesn't really work with anything in the house either. Um, I have this and they lived happily ever after. Right there, super cute. And that is from Morro Bay. We went to, on a trip to Morro Bay. Right here is a basket that says Mr. and Mrs. Established 2019. It's gray and silver. I have this silk, um, kind of a area for someone to sit if they want, but it's mainly for storage. Um, I have a, like, a lot of my Disney hats in there and random things. This is a flute um, I got from the ghost town on the way to Las Vegas. Um, over here I have my, my nice rose that Joe gave me just randomly. We were walking Hobby Lobby when we were dating and he bought me that. And right here on this wall next to the window I have my beautiful, it's like a ballerina dress or a wedding gown dress that my sister gave me when we first moved in as a wedding gift. Thank you. Love it. And to go with this glam look right here, I have this beautiful mirror. It's one of my favorite mirrors. And so in this area, I have my mirror vanity. On the bottom, I have that keepsake box that my sister gave me for my bridal shower. And on top of that, it says happily ever after. 
a gift bag from my wedding and these beautiful knobs and my husband actually gifted me this vanity mirror vanity um, one day I was looking at one in the store and someone bought it before I could purchase it and I was super super upset like ridiculously upset and because I think it was a good price but it was chipped and it wasn't this cute so my husband surprised me and ordered me this vanity and it showed up like three or four days later he put it together and this was before we were married and I was super surprised and happy because this, is, this one actually is way cuter than the one I was looking at in the store so over here I have let's see where to start right here I have um, a cute bouquet and another holder for my wedding I have these really pretty ballerina statues that I think just kind of complement the area right here is a tray I believe you get a TG Maxx and it's like a jewelry tray but I use it for my perfumes this is my Dior Jojor perfume and this is what I wore for my on my wedding day so this is my wedding my wedding fragrance this is Gucci Bloom. Joe gave me this for um, Christmas, our first Christmas together. This is Elizabeth um, Arden Untold. And my mom gave me this for my birthday last year. I love this perfume. It smells so amazing. So this is my camera backpack my husband bought me. It has all of my lenses and cameras in there. Right here's my closet. And I guess I could show you my closet really quickly. So this is my closet. All of my different um, art supplies down there. Some gifts that Joe's given me. Um, I have a lot of my like wedding cards in that purple bag right there. My teddy bear that Joe bought me at the fair. Some bath bombs that Joe bought me <laughs> um, in San Francisco. And our keepsake box with a lot of like photos and notes and cards and um, pretty much a lot of paper and cute little like items that are like really meaningful to our relationship that he's gifted me. Um, another Care Bear that he, that Joe bought me for, I don't remember <laughs> what occasion. Um, I have my Wally and Eve um, teacups that I haven't used yet and in here I have like this lovely winter coat a warm robe for the winter um, my some dresses um, this I wore for a couple occasions for Joe's like golf tournaments and whatnot um, a floral some sparkly dresses my cheetah BB sweater that I love. I have two of these that are a little different. My Justice sweater. It's really soft. It's like, oh my gosh, it's so soft. Um, this is more of a fall sweater. This is a sweater I haven't <laughs> wore yet because it still has the tag. Um, this one I wore like right after we got engaged. Um, so this definitely reminds me of that time. A beautiful sweater with a sparkly owl. My Mrs. Um, robe, silk robe from my bridal shower. I believe my Aunt Pat gifted me this one. And my bride robe that Michelle gifted me with some bedazzles on it. A silk robe. This floral robe from my bridal shower that I believe my cousin Crystal gave me and this robe my mom gifted me for the bridal shower and I love florals so this is a blouse that I've been wearing quite a bit. Um, I don't remember where I 
bought this. It might have been, might have been Marshalls. And then this one, I believe, was from J.C. Penney's. This is super sparkly. Some more florals, some lace, sparkly tank tops. Um, my Beating the Brains, Beating the Beast Bell t-shirt. So this is kind of just what I have in here right now. Um, I have a lot of bags in the garage of clothes I need to go through, so I'll be adding to this. And yeah, that is my closet in the beauty room. So this is going to be like a quick show of everything, how it looks if you were to walk in.